Okay, this lesson is looking at halves, quarters and eighths. And they are fractions. But what is a fraction? Well, a fraction is when we break up a whole thing, like this whole pizza, into parts. Now, if I put that pizza back together, it's a whole pizza. But if I take one little piece of pizza out, that's a fraction of the pizza. Which fraction depends on how many equal parts the pizza has been divided into. So the answer to the question, what is a fraction? A fraction is part of a whole. Let's have a look at a few different types of fractions. Let's start with this one, a half. Now, you can see here that in this circle, it's been divided into two equal parts. And when we have two equal parts, that's called a half. It can be written with this word half, or with this fraction here, one half. Have a look at this yummy chocolate bar here. Now, this chocolate bar, you can see, has all little parts. And all of those parts are equal parts. Now, we're not going to count how many parts there are right away, because I think, because we're trying to work out half, you could almost draw that, or see it with your own eyes, where half could be. If I was to make a cut down this chocolate bar here, it looks like it's equal on both sides. Now, we can check. We've got one, two, three rows on that side, and one, two, three rows on this side. So, it looks that this side is one half, and the other side is the other half. Two equal parts making the whole chocolate bar. Two halves make the whole chocolate bar. Now we also could divide it this way. And you can see that that would be two equal halves. Two rows in this half and two rows in that half. So we've got one half in here. And then there's another half here that goes around these two rows of chocolate. So two halves of the chocolate make a whole chocolate bar. This time let's look at this group of marbles. Now I can see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six marbles in this group. Where would half of the marbles be? Well, the most obvious way is to go this half. So we've got half of the marbles. So now we can start thinking about how that works with numbers too. We've got six marbles. So we can see by just looking at this diagram that half of six is three. So this whole group of marbles, we can do two equal groups. So that's two halves, three in one and three in the other half. Now looking at our yummy pizza, half of the pizza, we would eat half of the pizza if we were to eat one, two, three, four pieces, because there are eight pieces all together. So half of eight is four. Let's have a look, see if it looks like half. I'll just move that out of the way. One, two, three, four. All right, so we can see that we've got half a pizza there. Looks kind of like this half here, half the pizza. Right, now let's have a look at quarters. Quarters are different to halves. When we had halves, there were two equal parts. In this fraction, quarters, there are one, two, three, four equal parts. Sometimes quarters are called fourths. 
Here's the fraction 1 quarter. With our apple, what would you imagine to be half an apple? Something like that. But with quarters, a quarter is half of a half. So that would be a quarter of an apple. Now that we can have one, two, then three, then four. So altogether, there are four parts to this apple if I divide it into quarters. One quarter, two quarters, three quarters, four quarters. Four equal parts. Now we've got a group of puppy dogs and I can see in my group that there are one, two, three, four rows of dogs. So in those four rows I can see straight away that I could easily divide this group of dogs into four equal parts. How do you think we could do that? Alright, let's try going down here. One, two, three, four. So we've now got the group of dogs divided into four equal groups. One, two, three, four equal groups. Four equal parts make the whole group. Okay, let's have a look at this ruler. Now I can see on this ruler that it is 40 centimeters long. Now that tells me that I should be able to divide that into some even groups. A bit trickier this one. I can draw half and then half of each of those halves makes a quarter. So I've got one, two, three, four equal groups. Four quarters makes the whole ruler. Okay, now we've got eighths, and eighths is when we divide a whole thing into eight equal parts. Let's have a look at this garlic bread. I can see there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, the ends of our garlic bread are a bit different, so it's not really equal parts, but I guess you can see what I'm talking about. Now, if I was going to eat one eighth of this garlic bread, I would eat just one piece. If I was going to eat two eighths of the garlic bread, I would eat two pieces. If I was going to eat three eighths, I would eat three of the eight pieces. And if I was going to eat four eighths, I would eat four of the pieces of garlic bread. You can also see there that four eighths is the same as half of the garlic bread. So that's an interesting thing to know too. Alright, have a look at this group of minties. See if you could work out how you would divide the group into eighths. Eight equal groups. Pause. Have a think about it and then you can come back and see what the answer is. Okay, now I could do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equal groups there. Each group has two minties in it. So if I was going to eat one eighth of this group of minties, I would eat two minties, or one of the eight groups. 
that's one eighth of the whole group of minties. And back to our yummy pizza again. What would one eighth of the pizza look like? And to help you with that, I'm just going to separate these parts just a little bit. That'll make them a bit easier to count for you. That's the whole pizza there. What would one eighth of the pizza be? Well, as it happens, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces in a pizza. So that means there are eight equal parts, which means if we were going to eat one eighth of the pizza, we would eat one slice, one of the eight slices. If I ate the whole pizza, that would mean that I ate eight eighths. The whole pizza. Eight equal parts makes the whole pizza. Okay, now here's a little bit of a test for you. We're going to see which fraction do you think that I've eaten in my pizza. So after each time I pull out some pizza, you can have a guess at which of the three fractions we've been talking about, halves, eighths or quarters, do you think I have eaten? Okay, first one. Alright, I've eaten this part here. Which fraction do you think I've eaten? Alright, well for this one, I ate one of the eight pieces. So, I ate one eighth. Did you guess that? Let's try another one. This time, I'm going to eat these parts. Which one do you think it is? Well, you can see in here this little part missing and this part is the part that I ate. That is one quarter. Let's try again. What about this one? If I eat that and that and that and that. And I'm left with these ones. What do you think I've eaten? I've eaten one half of the pizza. Mmm. Great job. <laughs>